Hi, welcome back to Sew, Grow and Cook in the next installment of the Small Space Gardens 2023. Make sure you check out the other YouTubers who are participating in this collaboration. I'll put a link to their channels in the description box below. And today we're looking at what's been in my harvest this month. Now, let's have a look. We have lots and lots of beetroot, some of which I've harvested uh, and some of which is still growing. And we've got some really big ones here and they're all different colors as well. So not just the bog standard red, dark red beetroot, but we've got some of the pink candy striped ones called Kyoja. And we've got, um, we had a couple of the yellow beetroot and they're all really tasty and what's really nice about the different colored ones is they don't stain in the same way as the dark red, red beetroot Bleh. dark red beetroot does um and they're all really delicious so that's done incredibly well here so still a few to pull out all right next to that just adjust the camera is the last of my red onions okay so we've been pulling quite a few of these red onions and this is the last one this one's got a bit of a thickened stem which means it was on its way to going to seed but I think quite a lot of it will still be usable so I'm gonna put that to one side now we've got a little leeks that I planted um, after the lettuces, which we all harvested back in June and July. And the dwarf beans have gone. We've used them all up, we've pulled them out and I think I'm gonna plant some garlic in that space. I think I could probably do at least nine of the little cloves of garlic. So where the tomato was, um, I've replaced it with a cabbage. I can't remember the variety, but I think it's one that'll mature before autumn has finished. We've got some of the kale, which is being a little bit nibbled by insects but there's still quite a lot of usable leaves on there. Great to add to a salad or a stir fry and a few weeds. But I guess what I'm most impressed with is how the leeks are beginning to fatten up. Cause when I planted them, they were like little threads. They were so tiny, you could barely see them, but you can see they're starting to fatten up now. So again, a few gaps, garlic will go there. Um, oh, there's a gap here. I think I'm going to plant some oriental greens in here. Maybe something like rocket or maybe some uh, radishes, which like the cooler weather, but I think I might do the mooly radishes, which, um, definitely do better in the cooler weather. I'm so I've got a space there to fill and a space there to fill. So overall in a little three by four space, I think it's been really productive. We've had quite a lot of food. We've had lettuce, we've had dwarf French beans, we've had beetroot, we've had some tomatoes, um, sadly, we didn't do very well with the carrots because they didn't germinate, but the kale is coming on and we'll have other things to come in the later months. So I hope you enjoyed that very short update on what's happening in the small space garden. And don't forget to check out the others in the collaboration. And once again, thank you for watching So Grow and Cook. Bye for now.